Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the film Don't Look Up, which is finally out on Netflix. I've been so excited for this film since it was announced. The film directed by Adam McKay stars such an incredible cast, including Leonardo DiCaprio, Jennifer Lawrence, Timothy Chalamet, Jonah Hill, Meryl Streep, Ariana Grande, Kid Cudi, Rob Morgan, Mark Rylance, like it just goes on and on, um, Himesh Patel. The story is basically about two scientists who discover a comet that is flying towards Earth and is going to cause the destruction of the planet and of everyone on the planet. I am a fan of Adam McKay's work. The only film I didn't love was Vice, which I thought was really well acted, but I didn't like how heavy handed it was and it just didn't work for me. I was pleasantly surprised that I actually really loved Don't Look Up. It is such a great film so well made and really enjoyable despite how depressing it does get yes this is quite a depressing holiday movie it's this mix of different genres it's really funny there's comedic moments and obviously it's incredibly satirical it's obviously has all this biting commentary on our planet and human nature and the way that we have been sort of ignoring different things and this film actually balances out all these different ideas really really well the editing if you've ever seen a Adam McKay film is pretty much the same sort of like fast paced but what I really liked about this film was it's over two hours, but I didn't really feel the runtime. It's incredibly well paced and the editing is really well done. As I said, it's able to sort of move through these different ideas and things um, and show you different scenes taking place sometimes simultaneously. It's able to sort of cut through these different things quite well without it feeling jarring. This film definitely has awards potential. I definitely think that this film could be nominated in Best Picture. I think its best chances are Best Picture. I thought the screenplay was really good so I wouldn't be surprised if it gets a screenplay nomination. If Kenneth Branagh does not get in for Belfast for director, I definitely think that Adam McKay could be nominated for director. I think technical categories such as uh, original song, which it is in the Oscars shortlist for, I think score could definitely be a possibility. I mean, I loved the score. Nicholas Bertel is just truly king if you are a fan of Succession or a fan of the films. If Beale Street Could Talk or Moonlight, you will know that Nicholas Bertel is just one of the best composers working right now and his score for Don't Look Up is just so good. I love it so much. Visual effects are really really good in this film and I can see why it's getting uh, nominations for visual effects. Acting nominations are a possibility, but I think the main person who probably could get a nomination is Leonardo DiCaprio. He is probably the best performance in this film and he gets the most to do in this film. So it's really just a showcase for him to show how incredible he is and yeah just a great performance and really sort of subtle in places and something we kind of haven't seen from him he doesn't typically play these types of characters so i think it would be cool to see him get a nomination for this uh jennifer lawrence was amazing as always and it was really cool to see her play this kind of role as well 
um, other standouts. I really, really loved Jonah Hill. He has probably the funniest lines in the film, the funniest moments in the film, other than maybe Meryl Streep. Just so, so, so good. Ariana Grande was actually really good in her role as Riley. I just loved her obvious sort of satirical take on a sort of heightened version of herself or heightened version of like a pop star so i thought that was really funny and her musical number with kid cuddy is so so good i just love that song and i really really hope it gets nominated mark rylance as the sort of billionaire tech person a sort of steve jobs slash elon musk type person is so so weird and funny and just so amazing i wouldn't be surprised if he gets a nomination as well because it was genuinely such an insanely weird performance but so so good yeah overall i really enjoyed don't look up i think it's such a great time definitely an important film for especially right now with everything that has been going on for the last couple of years it really does feel like an important film that doesn't feel like it's trying to bash you over it, over the head with its ideas but really try to sort of be like a warning and a sort of call to arms of sorts for people to pay more attention to our environment our planet take care of each other of the world and i don't know i thought it was really really well sort of realized and i thought the themes hit really well especially towards the end there are these incredible montages that adam mckay is uh, so good at doing just a really really powerful uh well done film i honestly cannot wait to rewatch this but maybe not during the holidays it does have a bit of a holiday feel to it but it is depressing at times but it is really enjoyable at the same time so yeah i just i loved don't look up i would recommend that you see it uh let me know your thoughts on the film and of course like and subscribe which is kind of ironic considering the end of the film but yeah uh, that was my review i'll see you in the next video bye